What's going on everybody? What's up? Hey, we've got our cleanup job today and then we've got to put some grass seed down. I'm going to take you along on that one. We're going to have to transplant some plants. Good day to do it. It's about 68 degrees today. Let me show you. If you guys watched yesterday's video, we're going to be cleaning all this up. Uh, got all that cleaned up already. Mulch Queen's over there picking up uh, leaves. And uh, just got to get all this stuff cut down, you know, pulled out. Hope you all are staying safe. Uh, whew, man, it is, uh, it's a beautiful day. Grass is starting to green up. Man, everything's looking good. We're right on a golf course. You guys want to check this out? Beautiful, man. Just love the area. So, hey, got plenty of footage to get for you. We're just doing a basic cleanup, uh, leaves, cutting some dead down, and uh, that's about it. And uh, let's just get it done. It's going to be raining tomorrow and Saturday, so no work then. Sunday we've got a seven yard mulch job and a little bit of edging and uh, other than that we're ready to rock and roll for next week the weather looks like it's going to be up in the 60s and 70s looks good so far it's Ohio keep your fingers crossed but uh, hey let's go to work All right, guys, so let me show you what we got done so far. Got this all cleaned up here, around this way. Uh, the wind is fighting us pretty bad today with these leaves. Got that area cleaned up right there. We're working on the outside, and then what we have left is this. Not a bad cleanup, fairly simple, easy. The worst part is the wind's blowing. It's kind of blowing the leaves back over stuff we've already cleaned up we have no control over that I'm not gonna sit out here all day and waste time and money going to pick up about five or six leaves that have blown around certain things you can't do and certain things you can do and uh, that's one thing when you guys do a cleanup job do the best you can it's a it really is a constant non-stop struggle with leaves especially in our area in ohio now i don't know about anybody else's area here in ohio you can't keep these beds cleaned out there's just not i mean you can make them look good for a month or two and then here comes the pollen and here comes something else and it's always something you're fighting so you do the best you can but uh let's get back to work all back towards the back. I'm going to rake it all down towards the bottom.
right guys so this one is done as soon as he uh, gets those leaves put in the wheelbarrow and holds them around there and uh, I'll show you the after view looks pretty good I think I'll take you out around the outer rim tell you what man it's an easy job took us about an hour uh, made pretty good money and uh, the customer is going to be super happy with it I'm sure sorry the wind is blowing so bad so this is it from the outside all he's got to do is clean that up that's what it looks like super hard to get out of the leaves out of the bottom of that those are prickly uh, but that's it there's barely anything in the front but uh, hey guys we got one more job to do we had one cancel yesterday I've actually lost four out of the eight gauntlet yards that I had have no idea nobody's told me anything they just said they decided to go elsewhere I have a feeling it's because my prices were going up but look, I have an employee, I have a dump trailer, I have fuel, I have insurance. Prices go up. All right, guys. This is a, I mean, you can see. What's up, dude? What's up? Sorry I didn't get to let you mow yesterday. We had to, we had some pulling weeds and things like that we had to do. And the yards were extremely wet, weren't they? Yeah. So I figured I better just, uh let him learn when it's a little drier what do you think sounds good <laughs> when are you yeah. gonna get a haircut um, everybody's probably, telling you to shave it off dude no no i would say uh i mean it looks like i'm probably doing about a month you look like elmo or something <laughs> all right guys let's go to the next job we're gonna rake this mulch out of here till this up and plant new seed and some starter fert and then we the little plants up there we will put over in that area so let's go to work seed sun and shade from Pennington on this little job here if I can get it open probably not there we go I'm just doing this by hand it's such a small area so I'm gonna start at the top people will say hey doc you're not supposed to be putting the seed on top of the ground I covered it up I'm gonna put some more on top uh, obviously some of it won't take some of it will it's just the way with seed it doesn't all take all right guys next thing we're doing stay green starter fertilizer so I got a little three pound bag. I'm gonna basically put as much as I can on here and Justin will put some more over there. All right, so I can already see the comments. You're not supposed to do it that way. 
you're not supposed that's not the way you you're supposed to do it let's come back in three weeks and see if the grass is growing that's all i'm saying so other than that we got some uh plants to put in here <clears throat> some day lilies and uh guys i hope you enjoyed the video <clears throat> I'm going to finish uh, putting down this starter fert, and I'm out of here. Remember. Hey, Ami. How are you? Good. Okay, guys, sorry about that. My customer kept wanting to talk to me, and then she said, what, what are you doing there? And I said, uh, it's my YouTube channel. She goes, that is awesome. She was so happy that we were filming on her property. Hey, go figure. So, guys, have a great day. Be safe. Keep your hands washed. Don't go crazy over it, like I always say. And uh, Dr. Real was in the house. Keep it real, everybody. Show love. And peace. I'm out of here.